Hey YouTube, Poker Peeps here. Uh, just uh, testing out new equipment for recording, and also we're out this month's top ten cards that uh, I like. Um, just pity the other half. Spare, uh, Legend of Darkness isn't here to help, um, but hopefully get one with her top ten soon. Anyway, just to quickly sort of go through this uh, top ten this month is Blastoise. This one I got from the Blister Pack. Um, it's quite a nice card. I actually really like this one. It's just because of the way you get the shine and the gleam. That's actually quite like. I actually love that boost. Um, quite like the card itself. Uh, number nine is Zorak, the black and white one. I don't have the other one that I was meant to have from the Victini promo bo box, but so it was only fair because I got the Victini model instead. Right, my next one at eight um, is the Raichu Level X because it's, I've always liked Level X cards because they're jumping out. I've also liked Primes and that, but this Level X just tops it, and I love it. Um, mainly because Raichu and Pikachu were my first two Pokemon I loved. Next we got uh, Double Colorless Energy. It's quite a nice energy this one, and plus I thought these things were extremely rare when I opened my gob. I uh, pulled this in the same pack when I was talking about it, and I've always run it in whatever deck I could. Um, because I'm trying to learn how to play a game again, but I'm not the best, or neither do I know what cards are allowed to be not allowed to be run. But I digress. Um, where was I? Eight. 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, this is for the 6. The Lily, uh, Lily. The Legends Maker version. This is... How to put a very nice card, but... It's one of these ones that's meant to be like the promo version. Just because of the... Um, booster Pack's name on it. I uh, can't wait to see what the promo card is for the next booster that's coming out. The Black and White energy something I think it's called. Right, at five is Fralagir. Yeah, Ooh, I'm getting text. Oh, I'll have to wait. There's a oh well I'll have to wait. Right, as I was saying, Fralagir EX. Um I got this in a trade and it's quite an got a run water deck and I enjoy it. It's quite a rarity to see an a a EX in the collection. So I thank the person, they know who they are, uh, for trading me this. Or I think I was given it, I can't quite remember. So I thank them once again for that. Uh, four is one I bought off eBay uh, when I was just starting to get back into the game. Uh, Rylu. Um, I don't know why, it's, I've always liked Lucario and Rylos, so yeah, I think that this is actually a nice card. I like the Lucario uh, from the same set, but unfortunately I don't have that one, so. <laughs> uh, next is at 3 for Tyranitar. It's the deck, oh no, it's Stormfront, oh nice. It's, it's a good dark monster, and that's all I can really say about it. Plus, I've actually liked the picture for once. They normally have Tyranitar as an Earth type and that, but having them as a dark was quite a refreshing change for me. Next, uh, two is the recent Oshawa I got. So, yeah. Oh, I've explained in the video how much I absolutely love this card, and I think it's a, just a brilliant one to have. Um, much better than the first three they've put out already. So, I can't wait to see the next couple. And finally, at one, it's no big guess, but it's a different version this time, is the Espeon. Um, mainly because I keep saying I like Espeon and Legend of Darkness loves Umbreons. So, I just love this card. And it's hard to sort of kick an Espeon off top. So, yeah. I'm going to look forward to sort of doing the non shinies and rares and uncommons and that. But apart from that, hope you enjoyed it. Please look in the description box down below for who I give a big shout out to. 
and comment, subscribe, and check out the website link for uh, our main website where we post the same videos and blog a bit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you around.